According to the World Health Organization, vector-borne diseases account for more than 17% of all infectious diseases internationally, causing more than 700,000 deaths every year. Mosquitoes are the dominant carrier of such diseases, with 219 million cases of malaria alone between 2019 and 2020, resulting in more than 400,000 deaths. I've been living from my childhood uh, next to a lake and my parents uh, stayed near the lake. Notice that there have been mosquito menans. Wherever there's a water body, there is a water hyacinth. Wherever the water stagnate happens, they become a good heaven for the mosquitoes to breed and those cause all this malaria and dengue in the cities like Hyderabad, Mumbai or Delhi. The work of clearing these waterways is also backbreaking, requiring crews of people to enter the contaminated water and toil for many hours for little result, particularly when getting to the centre of each lake and therefore the problem can take weeks. So Prem and his team decided to find another solution. We first got offered, I safeguard the sanitation workers not to get into the water because they've been going through a lot of contagious diseases. So that's where we started building a custom drone to automate the activity, what they were doing offline with a manual kind of a thing. So when we started introducing Nodal Zap, we were able to cover one meter, two meters height evenly every nook and corner of the lake and we were able to cover the lake in less than a day where they used to take uh, four to five weeks in a nutshell where 300 man hours they used to take we were able to do it in less than one day in one fifteenth of a cost. Maru drones has three solutions where eradication of a mosquito larvae through drones and collecting the mosquito species and providing insights through IoT and AI and doing the predictive analysis and the mosquito management and disease management through an AI platform. With the drones and IoT device, we do the surveillance activities. Through surveillance, we're able to understand where in the locality, where exactly the breeding point and where are the sources where the breeding is happening. Once we identify the breeding site and breeding point, introduce IoT device and get the real-time data. So it's an integration of a drone and IoT for the surveillance activity to the platform to get enough data. Through the data, we do the predictive analytics and we give critical, non-critical alerts to the locality and to the municipality so that they could do the interventions offline in a given location. For the sake of the local community, it's important to understand which vector-borne diseases, carried only by females, are most prevalent and where. So the IoT devices used to trap the mosquitoes also provide data on gender and breed to further target which insects are carrying malaria or dengue fever. This information is then passed to local authorities and healthcare workers to make them more aware of the disease risk so they can make more informed decisions. Through model drones, we have built technologies which can be scalable, not only in India, outside India. So a good amount of requests, we've been getting it from Africa, US, Thailand, and all the tropical countries. I'm really excited uh, where this technology can go in the future. As Prem and his team have proven, Drone technology, when combined with insights and real-time management and enabled by artificial intelligence and machine learning, can help the fight against vector-borne diseases across India and soon the rest of the world. <laughs>